Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new combine features in Cricut Design Space. So right now this is grayed out. We don't have any selections. Let's get some stuff on the screen so we can see how to use it. So I'm going to come over here to the shapes and just pull in a circle. And then I'm going to duplicate this circle. I can come right here and duplicate it or I can right click and duplicate. Okay. Now while this is selected, I'm going to come up here to its color box, change it to pink. I'll change this one to blue, just so these are a little easier to see what we are doing. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is the weld that we used to have available to us in Design Space. So I'm going to select both of these, come to Combine, and weld. And you'll see just like it used to, it takes the two, joins them together, and makes them one, and that is a final process. There is no undo. There's no back out unless you control Z, which is what I'm about to do. But weld is a final thing. If I hit control Z, I can get back to where I started. Well, now they have this new feature. I've selected both of these. I come to combine, and if I hit unite, it does the exact same thing. It looks just like weld, except for the difference here is if I want to undo it, I come to combine and I can undo the unite. And now they are two items. I can separate them back out again. Select them both, unite, and I have one item. But if you look at my layers tab, they are two. I can ununite and separate them back out. If this is something I want to be final, I don't anticipate ever having to change this, I could come in here and I could merge these layers together and now it's just like the weld, they are one solid image. So I'm gonna plop this over here and we're gonna name this Unite. But I'm gonna pick a different font. I was working on a different project earlier. Okay. So this is Unite. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let me grab two more circles. Okay, let's change their colors. Pink again for the top, blue for the bottom. Okay. So let's move on to the next item we have over here. So I've got them both selected. I'm going to come to combine and I'm going to hit subtract. Now what this did was it subtracted the top circle from the bottom circle. Okay, we get out of that. It took the pink out of the blue. Let's say I move the blue to the top. So I've selected my blue, arrange, bring to front. Now it will subtract the blue from the pink. Select them both, combine, subtract, blue gets taken out of the pink. Okay, next we have intersect. So again, let's get our circles. Okay, we're gonna make one pink, one blue. Select them both, I can come here to combine intersect. It is going to leave where they have overlapped. So let's see. This was the section where both of those circles overlapped. Let me show you exactly what that means. This right here was the intersection where these two circles overlapped. That is what you get when you intersect. So if I move this like up here, and I come to the intersect again, I'm going to get this section here. Combine, intersect. And now I have this kind of a thing going on. Okay, so we've done unite, we have done subtract, we have done intersect. The next thing is extrude. So let's get these circles again. Now, if I hit extrude, it's going to do the exact opposite of intersect. 
it's going to delete where they overlap and leave everything else. So let's take a look at it. Okay, that is what we're left with. It has taken out the middle of those two circles. So those are the functions within combine. Unite, subtract, intersect, extrude. Now, unite is pretty self-explanatory. You know you're going to use that if you want to make two things into one. Subtract, you're going to subtract one thing from another. It's really, really similar to slice. It just doesn't give you um, all the leftover pieces that slice does. But intersect and extrude, these are, these are kind of new concepts for design space. This isn't something we've really been able to do before. Let me show you some really cool things that you can do now that design space has these two features. We're going to start with extrude. Okay, so for example, I'm going to come into my images and I'm going to grab a snowman. And any snowman will work. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do this. I just want to show you something really cool. So I'm going to take this snowman here and I'm going to add him to the canvas. Okay, here's my snowman. Let's make him a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to go get some snowflakes. So again, let me come to images and let's make this flake. And I want to get a few different ones. This is perfect. There's four different snowflakes here. I'm going to click this add to canvas. Okay, this is a little large, I'm gonna make it smaller. And I want to separate out these snowflakes individually, so I'm going to ungroup them. Okay. I'm gonna put this guy here, this guy here, this guy here. Oh, his middle came out. Did y'all see that, that little part? So I need to group all this back together and select everything and just attach that together. Okay, we'll put this guy just in the middle and I'll duplicate him. And you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. I'm just trying to get everything kind of designed up. Well, let's make that smaller actually. And I'll duplicate this. Okay, so we've got a design going where we have this snowman and we have these snowflakes. Now I have intentionally left some of these snowflakes hanging off of the snowman and some others completely inside of the snowman. We're going to use extrude to make a really cool design. So I'm going to select everything here. I've got my snowman and each of my snowflakes selected, and I can tell that for sure because when I come over here, everything is highlighted in blue. I know it's selected. If it's not highlighted, it's white, or if it's not selected, it's white. Okay, so I've got everything highlighted. I'm gonna come to Combine, Extrude, and wow, just like that. Did you see what happened there? It cut these snowflakes out of the middle but the ones that I had overlapping, it left part of them hanging off of the side. So that is a really, really cool feature that we have not been able to do before. And if I set this to a print, you can really see the line where it came in and just separated out the two things that we had. That is just something really cool that we haven't been able to do before now in Cricut Design Space. Now let's talk about what we can do with Intersect. Okay, Intersect also has some really fun things that you can do with it. Let me get a heart. Okay. I'm going to unlock this heart. I want to squinch up the bottom 
but with it being locked, I can only make it bigger and smaller. If I unlock it, I can take this and move it up to kind of squinch up the bottom a little bit. Okay, now let me grab some text. I'm going to change this font to a system font that I like. It's one I have previously downloaded. It's called Sorinka. Okay, and I'm going to put in my name. All right. So let me turn the heart um, pink. My name can stay gray, that's fine. So I need to edit this a little bit. I need to make, um, what I'm gonna do is turn my name into the shape of this heart. So I need to edit the letters just a little bit so that they fill up the entire space of the heart. To do that, I'm gonna unlock my letters so that I can stretch them all out. And now I'm gonna ungroup to each individual letter. If you click this advanced right here, I can ungroup and each letter will become separate. Do you see over here, they all separated. So what I wanna do is stretch each letter to where it overlaps the top and the bottom of the heart. So I'm just coming up barely over the top and I'll come down to where it goes over the lines of the heart. Let me get the top of this one. Perfect. You do not want your letters to overlap, so if you need to adjust them, make them thinner, thicker, whatever you need to do to get them to where they're gonna overlap the heart shape, but not overlap each other. You see I have space in between each of the letters. Okay, for this to work, I need to connect these letters. If I try to do it right now, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things selected. It's not gonna let me do it. If I come in here and I hit intersect, it's gonna say, you're crazy. You've lost your mind, <laughs> no thanks. So what I need to do is select each letter. I'm gonna hold, I've clicked the first one, I'm gonna hold shift and just click until all of my letters are selected. Again, I know they're all selected because they're all highlighted. I am going to combine and weld. I need to unite this, I need to make it one item. This won't work if I have more than one item selected. So here are my letters. Here's my heart, I'm gonna hold shift and select my heart. Now they're both selected here. Now I can come to combine and intersect and my letters just turned into the shape of that heart. It sliced out the extras and it left the heart shape. So that's something else really cool that we haven't really been able to do. You've been able to slice, but it's never been to the extent of this intersect. So, all right, that is the new features that we have with combined. Intersect gives us great designs. Extrude gives us great designs. Unite, subtract, we're used to those. Those are two that we've seen before. They're just um, called something different. And we still have weld and we still have slice. It's just a little more updated and advanced. All right, guys, that's all we have. I'll see you next time.